Hey guys, so I've been asked by a few friends to make a tutorial kind of thing about instant games because of the number of tutorials on YouTube on such topic uh, or a lack thereof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a basic introduction about how fa instant games work and how you can make an instant game. So this tutorial series is on the basis that I'm assuming that you guys know JavaScript and you guys know that HTML5 games are a thing. I'm not assuming that you know how to make HTML5 games, but you should at least know what HTML5 games are. So at least that you could buy an HTML5 game and convert it into an instant game. So this tutorial is going to be about that. So before we get started, first thing you got to do is go to developers.facebook.com and sign up there. Everything we talk about, even if it's about chatbots, even if it's about instant games or if it's about anything related to Facebook authentication, Facebook application development, everything is done over here. It is all the magic happens in developers.facebook.com. This is where you make an application and I'm not going to show you. All right. So I'll show you this application over here. So this is where everything happens. So this is a Facebook app. Okay. So in that application, you're adding different products. Okay. If you want Facebook login for your website, you're going to add Facebook login. If you want Instagram API, you're going to add Instagram API. If you have, if you have, if you need messenger, you're going to add messenger. If you need ads, you're going to add audience network. You get the idea, right? So right now I've added instant games, audience network, messenger, and webhooks. These two are for chatbots. All right. So and everything else is for analytics app center is for your game to be displayed in facebook app center so we're not going to be bothered about this for now because it doesn't really matter in the development stage of a game so what you're going to do is before we get started so this facebook instant games launched around in 2017 or something and it is a huge market like 182 million active users so the thing is the difference between an ordinary game and an instant game is that you do not need other people to actually download your game. They can actually play your game while in their favorite chat application, right? If, it, if they're messaging with their friends or if they're chatting with someone else, they could easily play the game over there. So, and it's kind of a social thing. I, and even if right now the market is kind of dim for instant games, I assume that I kind of predict that it's going to come up in other application as well because it is a great idea and I really like how instant games work right so this website is called as instantintel.co here you can see all the details about how what are the new trends in instant game if you're gonna make a new instant game what kind of game you should make everything about that so uh, one more thing before that uh, we're gonna go to js13kgames.resources right so this page i'll link it in the description and this js13k games is a competition held every year or so they asked to make a game under 13 kb and it's gonna be an html5 game so it's really cool but it's not in the scope of this video so what we are really interested in is their resources page right so inside js13 games.github.io slash resources you'll find all these resources that you might want to add you know into a game in order to make them right so here you have everything how to create sprites how to create you know audio and everything and there are also micro game engines and one more thing uh, if you don't know what game engine to use if you are using a game engine i would suggest phaser.io oh that was not a link it is a beautiful engine. I was able to make Flappy Bird game like under an hour or something. Even with no idea how the how this engine works, it's it's very simple. Go ahead and check the documentation. It is very nice. So that's about Phaser. And if you want other game engines or other things, right? If you're using Unity, I think there is a plugin for plugin or a, I don't know what that thing that things are called in Unity widgets maybe for uh, instant games. In Facebook and if you're using Coco Studio there is also some kind of boilerplate or something that you could use in order to make instant games in Facebook so I'm gonna assume that you're making HTML5 games without like all these engines or with engines like phaser or a light engine like this 
all other engines like unity and everything export your game into html5 game so that is not exactly what you want if you're making a game by coding it in like javascript in unity you'll be writing with the code in their language right i mean what their engine converts into javascript would not be the same as what the code directly is so so i'm gonna assume that you're gonna make you you're gonna be making games like directly in html5 or javascript or a engine like phaser so that is pretty much it and in the next video we'll be showing i will be showing you how the game works like we'll be going through the documentation and how a basic game would work